Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Courtney, and if you are returning, welcome back. Today we're getting into Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 1, Episodes 9 and 10. Y'all, I feel like I'm flying through this. <laughs> I was like, okay, don't know how many I'm going to post each week, but I'm already on 9 and 10 and I'm, I'm super excited. So real quick, if you're supporting over on Patreon, thank you so much for the support. And if you're watching this video with military affiliation, thank you so much for your service. Let's get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. In response to a Starfleet order, we are in the Zendi Sabu star system. Having rendezvoused with a Ferengi vessel, they have so far responded only with the message, Stand by, Enterprise. Well, this should be interesting. <sighs> Look, this perhaps may be nothing, but I've been feeling a bit odd of late. Oh, no. And now I got this damned headache. A what? Surely you know what a headache is. Of course, <laughs> but I don't often encounter them. Really? Well, things really must be different. What are the Ferengi up to? Stand by Enterprise. Stand by for what? He must be stressed. Doctor, all I've got is... Is an order to report to sickbay. Yes, ma'am. They're finally sending a message. Sorry, Doctor. Duty calls. <laughs> Saved by Riker. <laughs> They've identified their commander as Bach. Damon Bach. Let's see if they look any different. Is this mm. the Captain Pico? Nah, same face. Shall we meet on your vessel or mine? Uh, let's meet on the Enterprise. Captain, I sense considerable deception on Buck's part. We would like you to be our guest here. As you wish, Picard. They did agree a bit easily. Yeah, they agreed very easily. They're up to something. I'll have these scans done in ten. Good. Seems an awful lot of effort for something as simple as a headache. It might be more than that. It may be true that headaches were once quite common. Child, don't get me started. I used to get headaches every day. So what's the cause of my headache? I haven't the slightest idea. Hmm, come on, Doc. I want further exams. Doctor. When the Ferengi matter is settled. So yes, you can go work. Commander, you'll soon be getting an intruder alert. If you'll scan hitting 44 mark 163, Lieutenant, you'll find intruder alert, sir. Wes, you gotta talk faster. It's an old style starship, sir. Constellation class, heading this way under impulse power. Says the long distance sensors, sir. I was in engineering, playing around with boosting the sensor output. That'll come in handy. What's wrong, sir? No, it's nothing. Just a, just a mild headache. Wait a second. Is something causing his headaches? Like outside of the norm. We are receiving no signal at all from the approaching starship, sir. Time, sir. When did these headaches start? Oh, wow. Right on the bridge. Counselor Troy, we have heard that you use females. Here we go again. They do, we do, they. As if I'm not human. We wear clothes. Purchase it. You're not purchasing my data. His, um, his second-hand merchandise, and you wouldn't want him. Second-hand, sir? What's wrong with Captain Picard? But the unidentified starship is coming in. Still no signal at all. Think nothing of it. It is under our control. So why didn't you tell us? It is a gift from us, with which we honor the hero of Maxia. Do you not remember the Battle of Maxia? No. Do y'all? I don't. In which an unidentified starship... That fine vessel was Ferengi. Which you destroyed, sir. Oh. That vessel refused to identify itself. It simply attacked us. We defended ourselves. Something doesn't feel right. They're up to something. The logs will be downloaded into the Enterprise's records. <sighs> At the fry. No price! What is the purpose of this? What? See, something is wrong. I just felt something too, Captain. Perhaps it is his conscience. Perhaps you should hush while we try and figure this out. It felt as if, as if it were something from your past. Look at that ship closely. Is that the ship from the story? It's a stargazer. It's my old ship. Oh. It was a derelict. A drift in space. How it got there is none of my business, Captain. That vessel is yours, if you wish to have it. But how would that work? Consider it an act of friendship. At no cost, very ugly. Don't trust this. Something is not right. You said you felt something yourself. Like a thought, but... 
rather mechanical in nature. At that moment, I was remembering being at the helm of the Stargazer. We were hit. Something burning. I can smell smoke. Right now? There's nothing burning, Jean-Luc. First attack damaged the shields in the confusion. They hit us a second time. Can you identify them, Vigo, if they come in a second time with our shields damaged? Wait, what? He's my weapons officer on the Stargazer. Oh no, he's going back to that time period. Hey, I'm getting quite caught up in this. Very much so. You performed what Starfleet textbooks now refer to as the Picard Maneuver, and blowing into maximum warp speed, you appeared for an instant to be in two places at once. And our attacker fired on the wrong one. Ah, sounds like it was cool to witness. We had to abandon ship. We limped through space in shuttlecraft for weeks before we were picked up. I want to go over to her. I understand, sir. Is it a trap? As soon as my people have made certain that she's safe. Uh, thank you. And after I have another look at you, Captain. Uh, thank you. Ooh. I activated the emergency power oh, cells. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was like, who did that? Yard of Enterprise. All clear, sir. Mm, there's something hiding. Hello, old friend. We are forced to abandon our starship. May she find her way without us. Apparently she did, sir. Wow. I'm going to look at my old cabin. This is one of those times I'm not optimistic. <laughs> oh, man. I knew y'all were up to something. I want you back on the Enterprise. Put my things. I'll see they're sent to your Enterprise quarters. I want more information on that little sphere. How was it, Captain? I go back to the house you grew up in, but no one's home. Mm. Except phantoms of the past. Ooh. Take over number one. Yeah, I don't think Dr. Crusher is going to be able to find anything since it's connected to that device. Torpedoes armed. Where are they? It seems the captain's personal log contains a much different version of that conflict. He lied? The starship which Captain Picard attacked had, in fact, been under a flag of truce. The captain destroyed the ship without notice or provocation. What? And what proof? It is logged in his own voice, sir. Dang. Well, that's a twist I was not expecting. This is a confession given by me, Jean-Luc Picard. Unless this has been planted. I fired our main phasers and our direct hit destroyed the unknown vessel. I've assumed they've simulated your voice somehow. I've already put data to work on it. I mean, Wesley's already shown that he has taken different things he said. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I know, sir. I must report to Starfleet. I'd hate to have to prepare a formal defense. I can't believe they'd ask for your command. I could become a severe embarrassment to Starfleet. Yeah, I think so too. I'll call the doctor again. It's no wonder with all this going on. Try to relax. No, it's that device y'all still don't know about. Is a confession given by me, Jean-Luc Picard, commanding USS Stargazer. No, he wouldn't have done that. I haven't even known this man for a full season and I know he wouldn't do that. Starship Ferengi. This is Commander Riker here. I'd like to speak to First Officer Kazago. What do you want of me? Just one question. As you humans say, I'm all ears. We can tell. We freely give you back your derelict warship, and now you accuse us of crime, Riker? Because it doesn't make any sense. Of course. Run away when things get tough. <laughs> Just terrible. You didn't tell me it had been this bad. This should help a little. How you feel? I got this headache. Long before I even knew my old ship still existed. When did it start? A fight at Maxia. I destroyed an entire vessel. Entire crew. Did you have a choice? I don't know anymore. I just don't know. They've really messed with his head. The last three nights, I, I've heard these voices. I'm on the bridge of my old ship. I have fire all around me. And then I give the order. And then that log. Oh, am I going crazy? No, you're not going crazy. You just don't have all the pieces of the puzzle yet. What was that? Something to let you sleep. Sweet. Aw, she tucked him in. <laughs> And now, my dear captain, you are ready to live the past. You will injure yourself 
What? As you once injured me. Oh, you were there. Ah! Ready, phases, and lock. Engage. Phases, fire! Torpedoes away! I was so quiet during all that. One of these two logs is a forgery, sir. Correction. The log just found aboard the Stargazer is a forgery. Whoever tampered with your personal log was clever. But a bit clumsy. It's definitely a fabrication, sir. We could all figure that one out. I'd like you to take a look at this brain scan, Griff. What are you doing here? I thought I was captain of this starship. I mean, yeah. But now, except for Riker, I would uh, like you all to return to your stations. But don't you want to keep hearing about the logs? You too, Doctor. I have business with the commander. Under protest, sir. <laughs> I'm leaving, but I don't like it. You have orders for me, sir? Release the Stargazer from the tractor beam, number one. Yeah, he's not acting like himself. Her inertia will carry the Stargazer along with us. Or did you sleep through the Academy lecture on the conservation of tractor beam power? Now, hold on now, buddy. <laughs> A releaser, of course. You know something's wrong. Come on, Riker, don't disappoint me now. I keep sensing random thoughts, but two sets of them intermixed with other thoughts which are also his. I noticed that these patterns are the same as those picked up from the low intensity transmissions from the Ferengi ship. Aha! Uh -huh. And they're exactly the same. There you go, Wesley. Engineering has nothing like it on record. Let's get to the captain. No, they might be affecting the captain to Riker. You're welcome, ladies. <laughs> Adults. <laughs> I like this kid. Some unusual low intensity transmissions from the Ferengi vessel. Something over there is affecting the captain's thought patterns. Finally, there it is. Give me a location on Captain Picard. Captain Picard is in transporter room three. What? <laughs> New information. Captain Picard is no longer aboard the Enterprise. They sent him to the Stargazer. Collecting on an old debt. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a shame, man. Come on, team. Low intensity beam of intermittent pulse inside Captain Picard's quarters. Go find it. I have been waiting a long nine years for this, Picard. So if they destroy the other one, I guess it just will lose the connection? You murdered my only son. He was commander of the ship you destroyed. Oh. And I have spent these years seeking the proper broad revenge. So that's what he's so upset about. Die well, Captain. <laughs> no, our crew is going to get him. And hopefully we'll get to deal with you later. Considerable fire damage to interior surfaces reported, sir. But none of our main systems are crippled. Six photon torpedo short, sir. Probably used when the captain destroyed his Ferengi attackers nine years ago. Seems to be a network of miniature circuitry, sir. Incredibly complex. Maybe, maybe an amplifier. Where was it in the captain's quarters, Mr. Worf? Just where I had left it. He hadn't yet unpacked. So he may not have even known it was there. No, he had no idea. Contact the Ferengi vessel, Lieutenant. How do you have possession of that? Oh, so you know what it is. It is a forbidden device, a thought maker. If your captain is criminal enough to own one... He doesn't... It's not his. It is not seemly to question one's own daemon, Riker. I am not prepared to do that. Well, talking to you is pointless. Do not attack again! We are on a peaceful mission. He's back in that moment. Who are they? Identify them. We can't take another hit, Captain. The Picard maneuver. What is the defense against that data? There is no defense, sir. The devise one, fast. Come on, Data, you can do it. You should also know that Damon Bach no longer commands this vessel. What? What happened? His first officer has confined him for engaging in this unprofitable adventure. Oh, well, that works for us. A vessel in the Picard maneuver might seem to disappear, but our sensors could locate any sudden compression of those gases. I hope you're right, Data. He's right. No question of it, sir. <laughs> there you go, there's that confidence. Lock on tractor beam. Ready phases. Very good. Captain Picard, listen. Vigo, is that you? No. It's Commander Riker, sir. The Ferengi are using their thought devices on you. Come on, snap out of it. Look for a silver sphere. Destroy it with your phaser. Thank you. No more headaches. Are you all right, Captain? I think it knocked him out. Captain, are you all right? Where is Buck? Removed from command, sir. Seems there was no profit in it. 
How very interesting. Let the dead rest, and the past remain the past. There you go. Learn from it and move on. Enterprise, lock on. Beam me home, Riker. Out of all the episodes I've seen so far in season one, this one is my favorite up to this point. I do know I have another episode to get through for today, but <laughs> right now, this one is my favorite. Let's see if episode 10, you know, changes my mind. But just real quick, I really enjoyed the fact that we got to get more background on Captain Picard. The fact that he was... Um, commanding the stargazer and this whole you know battle that took place the fact that um what his name was Bach the fact that he lost his son I can understand being upset you know what I can understand that but to try and get revenge it's just one of those things that it's like really that's what we're gonna do couldn't you have just had a conversation like hey you know my son was my son died because of your actions i mean i don't know what would have come from that but it, it it does seem to me as if the ferengi they get into they're very very how do i say this they're stuck in their ways to the point where it's like you really can't negotiate with them I did enjoy seeing more of Dr. Crusher and I really appreciated Wesley coming in like hey you know there's a connection with you know what I saw earlier and Captain Picard's brain waves like <laughs> I'm just like there you go Wesley save the day come on you know help us out but technically Wesley I take that back he didn't technically save the day he helped point us in the right direction and it was actually Captain Picard you know with Commander Riker telling him like hey I need you to snap out of it I need you to use your phaser. So in a way, it was like a team effort there with everybody. So that was really nice to see. Again, overall, I thought that this one was actually well written. I thought the concept was great. It was really nice seeing Captain Picard like reminisce about everything that happened. And because you could tell by the way that he talked to everybody about this particular battle that even though it was nine years ago, he clearly remembered it in excellent detail. This, despite the fact that his mind was being um, affected, he really remembered the details. So obviously when that fake entry came, uh, fake entry. So obviously when that fake log entry was brought up, it was like, no, this doesn't sound like the same man that was reminiscing it and talking in detail about what happened. So yes, overall, I thought that this was really good. I quite enjoyed it. Let's get into episode 10, and I hope that you guys enjoy. We were fortunately close to the Sigma-3 solar system. An accidental explosion has devastated a mining operation there. Mm, that's not good. And I'm picking up a force field out there of some kind. It's almost... Oh, you got to be kidding me. We don't have time for this. Supposedly, I'm gonna like Q eventually. I don't know. We'll see. This better be good. I thought by now that you would have scampered back to your own little star system. What the heck is that? <laughs> we have much to discuss, including perhaps the realization of your most impossible dream. This is not the time. Starfleet Admiral Q at your service. Can you just go somewhere, please? Okay, let me be nice. You seem to find this all very amusing. I might. If we weren't on our way to help some suffering and dying humans who- uh, Your species is always suffering and dying. Dude, what do you want? You might have learned an interesting lesson, macro head, <laughs> with a micro brain. Down wharf. When this rescue is completed, I am prepared to listen carefully to whatever proposal you wish to make. So come, Picard, why do you distrust me so? Do we need to go back to episode one? You again seized my vessel, and that angered you, did it? Seized my vessel, seized my vessel. You know, if I could just reach through this screen. I'm trying to see something. Seized my vessel. These are the complaints of a closed mind, too accustomed to military privileges. Q, there are people dying. We don't have time for these games. Games? Did someone say games? A deadly game? To the game. 
Oh, this is just ridiculous. Where are we? Obviously a Class M world. Clearly, they can all breathe. Twin moons. Where are we? Considering the power demonstrated by Q the last time, anywhere. Well, that doesn't help. But it won't be boring. If Q is anything, he's imaginative. Imaginative and annoying. Security, this is the captain. Is he by himself? Engineering, this is the bridge. So where'd the other people go? Oh. Is this like a frozen in time type of a thing? Sir, over there. Join me, Riker. You look silly. Sir, what he has in mind might provide us with vital information. Start talking. I was just thinking about an old-fashioned lemonade. What about my people? Ah, uh, whatever they'd like, of course. Oh, Data, do you not drink? Oh. <laughs> I expected that. It's the human future which intrigues us, and should concern you the most. This is the dressing for a game that we will play. Get to the point, what's the game? Humor me. This is from Europe's Napoleonic era, sir. Late 18th, early 19th centuries. If we must play a game, what would we win? The greatest possible future that you could imagine. Now the point of this game shall be, can any of you stay alive? Seriously? This game shall in fact be completely unfair. You've gone too far. Game penalty. What, what, it, what is the game? If any of you should be sent there, dear Tasha must give the box up to you. And where does she go? Into nothingness. Can you just explain all of the rules? I'm too impatient for this. I would have been sent to the penalty box. Captain's log. Captain's log. I wish I could help you, Captain. This is the penalty box? What are you doing here? I'm in a penalty box. I know that one more penalty by anyone and I'm gone. Forever. Poof. It is so frustrating to be controlled like this. What in the hell am I doing? C crying? It's okay to cry sometimes. When one is in the penalty box, tears are permitted. What am I saying? It's fine to cry whenever, instead of holding it in. Consorting with lower rank females, Captain? Especially ones in penalty boxes? Penalty over. Um, uh, okay. While its bridge crew plays out a game whose real intent is to test whether the first officer is worthy of the greatest gift the Q can offer. That explains why he was left behind. Your starship command against Against your keeping out of humanity's path forever. Ooh. Done, done. Riker will be offered something impossible to refuse. I'm very interested to see what that's gonna be. I'm still confused about what we're doing. You seem to have some need for humans. Why not a simple, direct explanation, a statement of what you seek? That's what I've been wanting this whole time. And I'm surprised you have to ask when your human Shakespeare explained it all so well. World, not galaxy. All the world's a stage. Oh, you know that one. <laughs> well, if he were living now, he would have said galaxy. So how we respond to a game tells you more about us than our real life. Perhaps maybe a little, uh, Hamlet? No, I I'm good. What a piece of work is man. How like an angel in apprehension, how like a god. I see us one day becoming that cute. Dang. Okay, attitude. Armed with ancient ball and powder muskets. That's what their weapons look like, sir. Just one of our hand phasers could finish off an entire regiment. It hardly sounds like Q to give us an advantage like that. Oh. They work. Drop your weapons! I'm afraid that was me, Warp. <laughs> I was checking to see if the phasers still operate. The way Worf leaps into action is just funny. What they're wearing may be old Earth uniforms, but what's inside of them isn't human at all. More like vicious animal things. Data, if you've got a theory about what's happening. Where is Data? Well, it's not a lead ball. Those aren't muskets. Send them back to the ship. Send them the same way I do. Do you understand? I have given you the power of the Q. Is that the thing that he won't be able to refuse? Oh 
Oh, wow. I can't see him wanting to keep it, though. Engineering got all systems back online. Back online, sir? They were never off. Wow. So it was just the bridge crew that left. There's been no interruption in course or speed. Both have remained constant. Where's Commander Riker? He was with us. But I suspect that Commander Riker is probably perfectly safe, at least in a physical sense. Technically, yes. Q has an interest in him. And the reason for that, sir? I wish I knew. Q first became interested in him at Farpoint. Yeah, we remember that very well. <laughs> oh, Riker, no. Perhaps you'll share the joke with me. The joke is you. Oh. Strange gratitude. Certainly, you must understand that at this moment, you can send yourself back to the ship. That's probably not what he wants. What do you need, Q? Need? You want something from us. Desperately, what is it? It seems like it's entertainment. We have offered you a gift beyond all other gifts. Oh. I don't understand. All right. Of course you don't. And you never will until you become one of us. Oh, he's out here recruiting. We must know more about this human compulsion so that you can bring to us this human need and hunger that we may better understand it. Well, at least we're finally getting some answers. But to become a part of you, I don't even like you. <laughs> You're gonna miss me. Doubt it. Wait a minute. Come on, not again. <laughs> I'm with you, Jordy. Worf, my phaser's gone. Are you armed? No. Oh, Q's playing dirty. Can Riker still do the thing? Worf, where are you going? You cannot fight all of them by yourself. What? See, look at him. Worf! No, Wesley, stay back. Wesley, no! Wesley, yes! <gasps> Wesley. Oh, this is... Damn it to hell! Now you do something, Riker? You did that. And that's not all! Oh, thank goodness. Took you long enough. That grid. Their wounds. Only the Q can do that. He's gonna let that power get to his head, isn't he? You know the implications as well as I. No one has ever offered to turn me into a god before. If you're going to refuse his offer, you must not allow yourself to use this power again. It's too great a temptation. I mean, it is extremely tempting. Are you strong enough to refuse to use that power? Absolutely not. You have my word. Good. I, I know what your word means. I'm not convinced. Ready to beam down rescue team to underground emergency area. Are there any others? It's just us. Poor things. Commander. There's somebody under here. Are y'all gonna be able to get him out? That's right, Data is super strong. <gasps> oh, poor baby. It's too late. Oh. She's dead. Certainly you can't bring her back to life. I'm prevented from that by a promise. Here I am thinking he was just gonna do it. I could have saved that child. You were right not to try. When I used it before, what happened? I saved most of our bridge crew. And when you grow to like it too much? Then what? I want a meeting with you and your bridge staff. And I'll discuss all of this new power. Oh! Oh, he's feeling himself. Your captain was not done talking. Wesley, this meeting is not for you. Why not, sir? You helped make me a bridge officer. This is true. All right, he stays. I'm the same William T. Riker you've always known. Mm, you're acting a little different, dude. Haven't you seen how much I regretted not saving that child? Using the power of Q to save her may not have been wrong. But maybe her time on Earth was up at this point. We have a quality of growth which they admire. Or fear. The Q has muddled your mind. Thank you, Captain Picard. It's to manipulate Are these you. Are truly your friend's brother? Here we go with the bull. He rolled in like, um, oh gosh, it's been so long. Star Wars, y'all know what I'm talking about. They're short and they like to, like, grab stuff. You come in search of what humanity is. I forgive your blasphemy. Man, stop playing games. He's nothing but a flim flam, man. He's been that ever since we met him at Farpoint. Flim flam. We'll explain later. You have the power to leave each one of them with a gift proving your affection. There'd be no harm, would there? 
if I gave them something I know they'd like. Are you actually going to really do this? In fact, I authorize and support your idea, Riker. Please, feel free to cooperate with him if you wish. Look at Q's face. He's always up to something. Are you certain, sir? Quite certain, Data. By all means, demonstrate your gifts of affection. I think Q's bluffing. Don't be frightened. Maybe. There is no way I could harm any of you. A uh, yes, with that kind of power, you can. Leave now, Wesley. Wesley, I may know best of all. No, please. Have your favorite wish, my young friend. His mother just said no. Don't do this without their permission. To become human. Yes, sir. That is true. It might be real to Q. Perhaps even you, sir. But it would never be so to me. Mm. Good job, Data. Sorry, Commander. I must decline. Nice going. Oh, gosh. His sight. as beautiful as I imagined. Oh. Okay, this is really sweet. Then we can throw away the visor. I feel like that just takes away from his character. Price is a little too high for me. And I don't like who I'd have to thank. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Make me the way I was. He means it. Proud warrior wharf without a single tie to his own kind. Oh dear. Is that supposed to happen? Uh-oh. She sees her as a challenge. Ooh! Dang! Okay, well send her away. Oh, seductive growl. Is this how y'all get down? Um... Um, yeah. Be gone. She's from a world now alien to me! Worf! Is this your idea of sex? <laughs> this is sex. That is sex? But I have no place for it in my life now. No place, micro brain. What possesses you? Leave his brain out of this. Commander Riker, it's too soon for this. His voice never changed. I just want to get there on my own. Honest. All right, put him back. Fix him. But it's easier, boy. Q, Listen to Riker. Shut up. How did you know, sir? I feel like such an idiot. Oh, you, you had to learn. I'm sure your fellow Q remember that you agreed never to trouble our species again. Right, exactly. No, no, if I could just do one more thing. No. Q, I strongly suspect it's some explaining you have to do now. Well, that was satisfying. Yeah, please get her to go away. Perhaps someday we will discover that space and time are simpler than the human equation. Yep. That will happen. You have my coordinates, LaForge. Aye, sir. On the board. Engage. I'm still waiting for Mr. Q to grow on me. Hasn't happened yet. This episode, the first half of it, I was just kind of like, can we just get to the point? Please, please, let's just get to the point. The back half of it, I really enjoyed it. Um, I probably started really, really enjoying the episode when Captain Picard and Riker had that conversation. Then of course they beamed down to the planet. He chose not to save the little girl. Like all of that, I was just like very, very, you know, I mean, I was focused the whole time, but all of that I really, really enjoyed. Riker taking the time to grant like their wishes and obviously it's no surprise that Wes wants to be older obviously because for him it's like okay once I'm older I can really be a part of Starfleet and I can do this I can do that but again remember what the traveler said he has to develop so knew that wasn't going to stick I was not prepared for the Klingon female to that was a lot <laughs> I was not expecting Worf to to hit her and her to f fly down the what is that ramp? That was um uh, that was a bit much, and I was just kind of like, so this is what they do. 
again, I've been getting an education on the Klingons ever since the original series. And that was that was quite um, unexpected. Obviously, when we got to Jordy, you knew what was going to happen with him. Obviously, his sight. We talked about that early on, about how he wishes he could see the way that we see. And, you know, him having that moment of being able to see a planet in orbit and getting to finally see the crew, maybe for him, that was like, you know, that was enough. I don't need this. You know, just put me back the way I was. You could tell Q was very confused. I understand Q wanting to study and understand humans, but this is not the way to do it. I don't know if that gets better as we go on because y'all said that I'm going to like Q eventually, possibly, maybe, we'll see. Because he just, if you, if you want your blood pressure raised, I mean, he'll do it. <laughs> I was stressed out there for a moment because I kept thinking, Q, you are going to delay us from getting to where we need to go. But no, nope, they were able to continue moving. They our, our bridge crew just didn't realize it. Everyone else on the Enterprise is just going about their day. Like, I guess it's just a regular day. But for them, you know, our bridge folks, they're probably, again, they were under the impression that we're not going to get there in time to help these folks. But fortunately, you know, Q wasn't a complete butt. <laughs> he could have been, but he wasn't. So fortunately, they were able to help out, you know, most of the folks, except for obviously the little girl, which that was sad to see. But that's life. And I'm glad that I'm actually really glad that Riker did not save her. I thought he would. I would have had the same thought process about it. Like, mm, I don't really think that's a good thing because if it was her time again it was her time so that's my thought process with this particular episode the first part of it i was like oh my gosh here we go again and then the end i was like okay this wasn't this wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be <laughs> again season one has been interesting so far out of these two episodes the that first one I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole first episode. This one, again, I the back half of it is what really caught my attention. Whew, y'all, we're rocking and rolling, and I am having a great time with it. I was, you know, I mentioned to my Patreon folks that it's actually kind of hard to not want to binge watch this because obviously, you know, I got to set up my camera, my ring lights, and I got to get, you know, make sure I capture my reaction. If it wasn't for this, I probably would, I might actually be on season three by now. I'm happy that you guys are on this journey with me and I hope that you guys are also enjoying it. As I say at the end of every video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and please hit the notification bell so that you guys know whenever I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.